Who we'll share a tale? There was a woman called Nal who came by ship to Fornberg and heralded, demanding to meet Sail. King Sigmund, your own wind. father. Nal was from Gautland. She was tall and rugged and strong, and everyone who walked near her said she smelled of men's blood. When her message was sent to our king, Nal was made to wait a full day. Yet she did not complain. She watched the waves and sang songs. Night came and went, and still Nal sat by the shore of the fjord, singing her songs. She skipped rocks with children and smiled. As the afternoon of the second day approached, King Sigvaldi's messenger reappeared. They spoke quietly together. At last, the messenger stood back and waved to some men nearby. Three men bearing three chests of silver approached quickly. They set the chests of silver in Nal's ship and stood back. Then Nal stepped forward, swinging a large, bloodied sack before her. Nal opened the sack and emptied it on the shore. Seven pairs of hands. Go! Get the murdering dog! Quatra Kingmaker. Warpole Kingmaker. Kingmaker. Run up the serum! Strike of the June. Is there a sea skull among you? During my 19th winter, King Stilbjorn ordered the construction of a new longhouse. The splendid hall you now see at Thornburg. To build this longhouse, he employed the help of 20 men. I was among them, as was Fradi. The strongest and stoutest man I had ever seen. We set about felling trees and hewing wood for timber. Fradi was the fastest of us. Dropping 41 trees in only two days. On the third day, a spindly man... Now you pay for your name! Yeah! <laughs> 
confront the Dane steward. Let the sail out! Sing us a song. Let's hear a story. Did I ever tell you all the story of how I killed an entire clan single-handedly with the broken hilt of a sword? Too often, dog. More times than any man can count. Here. <laughs> Take the mouse down! World. King Maker. The King. King Maker. The King of East Anglia. A, f a fiend out of hell. Rumors speak of a monster mutilating livestock. Drop the mask! Know the witch. Suffering hard times, I see. Confront the Dane steward. What's happening? Finier? Oh, no, not unless Afton sent you. I sent myself. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finier, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? Uh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Uh, 
Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's counsel before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane, for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Dane Stewart's note. myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace, with land to till and home to keep, without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. You handled the crowd wisely. Future kings could be harsher. A king should be harsher in tone with those who disrupt his kingdom. I'm not yet king, so I'll listen to my people before deciding what tone to take. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and hamlets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I am here to see that it does not happen again. Lately I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else if not a king should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Hold! There is smoke ahead. We must be careful now.
given to verse ah uh, their little worries their little lives they mean nothing to me they're flies on shit clear out roots run. clansmen the thieves are everywhere maybe we need hounds organize a bandit hunt wait a minute test this <laughs> On the side! Hurry! That will cost you! That should be the last of these pig-faced cowards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Ruiz clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be- I alone cannot sway them. I'd be happy to join you for dinner. I alone you need to be more like I alone can I'd be happy to join you for dinner. I you need to be more like them. I I'd be happy to join you for dinner. I'll be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. A healthy seeming town. This Oswald has done well Look for there. himself. Alone Dane. Can't trust that. Shh. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. Attend the dinner at night. This is a day of peace and fraternity. I ask you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, Broder, the is... lost Saxon king we backed. 
wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Oh, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> Is that why you come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruet's clan. But between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolf Kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this! You heard me. That's it! Limp, weak, soft. Ridiculous, absurd. This is no way to ensure our dreams. Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Quests. Track quest. Quest. The measure of a Norseman. Good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. 
I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not. The Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir, the hound. He has bark, but no bite, just a puppy I've found. <laughs> What just happened? That's flighting, Oswald. Using rhythm and rhyme to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. Make fun of his looks. L make fun of- attack his lack of wit. Laugh at his manhood. But make fun of his looks. He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Attack his lack of wit. Laugh at his manhood. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Attack his lack of wit. He's got the wit of a boa, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Make laugh at his lack of height. Poke at how fat he is. Make fun... Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. When you crawled from the womb, you were ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well-timed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finnir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir would not be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on, this is... That said, I should not be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. World. Hold left mouse button fast travel. Not, not. Hold left. Hold. 
Hold left mouse. World. The measure of a Norseman. The dinner was a disaster. But there may yet be hope for Oswald to learn the measure. The me the measure of a. You still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as a king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I have never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed. Do not worry about me. Are you too scared? Do not w Just do your best. I'll be fine. Ah! We will forge a king out of you yet. It was a good strike. Keep going. Don't hold back. You felt that one. I'm still here. You expect the Danes to follow this poor belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. You'll never be king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! Eivor is the victor, but you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have. Even if you have to get dirty, even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head-on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. We dress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald.
Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. We need an epic tale. I know a crazed man about my age called Roker. We are taken to calling Roker the Rogan for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Roker seduced another man's wife. That man called a home gun against Roker. Roker accepted the home gun, and on the agreed upon day, he laid out 12 of his axes and asked, which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. My bearded blade inscribed with Sather runes, affixed to a handle of English oak? Or Blood Fountain? He continued. My Danax, which swings through the air on two hands with the speed of an arrow's flight. Or might it be. Hush now. Neither will we. Does the threat of death drive your blade further? <laughs> Whatever compels you, hang on to it. to kill any stragglers. I have not tasted battle in years. There's still vigor in these bones. Come on, you filthy whore sons. There's iron to be kissed. <laughs> Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard one fight. The first of many, Oswald. 
Have you the will to keep it up? This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to know the witch, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. <laughs> 